All right, guys, so my new product has been live on Amazon since the weekend. So I wanna talk you through what's happened over the past few days and also explain why it's been a huge waste of money. So make sure you stick around for that. So up first, let me take you into Seller Central and go to the Amazon ads area. We can see what I've been spending on PPC. So I decided to use this product as a trial to see if I could launch the product using an auto campaign only. Now, if you're not sure what an auto PPC campaign is, is basically you give Amazon a budget, a daily budget, and a bid, how much you're willing to bid per keyword, then Amazon will try and spend that for you. Now, I do not recommend launching a product with an auto campaign. However, I know a lot of people really struggle to get their head around PPC, so I wanted to see whether it was still possible. I remember I launched my first ever product back in 2018 using an auto campaign and it did work. And I wanted to see whether this is still a viable method now in late 2022. So that's why I decided to do it this way. Um, and I'll come back to the results as we go through the video. So day one on the 25th, you can see here, we spent just under 20 pound on PPC. So I initially set a daily budget of 50 pound and I bid, I think one pound 05 to see how I would get on with that. And we only spent 20 pound of that potential 50 pound daily budget. So what that told me is I wasn't bidding high enough. So I upped the bid, I think to one pound 30 and you can see here, we maxed out on the next day and spent the full 50 pound. So the natural next step was to throttle back that bid to try and maximize the amount of clicks we get for the daily budget. So I think the next day we still spent the full 50 pound, but I was only bidding like one pound 25. And so I throttled it back a bit further and I actually went too far this time. I was actually quite surprised because I actually was bidding more than I was on day one. But I think when you launch on the weekend, there's more traffic about. So sometimes your low bids will get filled. Whereas during the weekdays when there's generally less traffic, they don't get filled. I actually thought this was a delay in the PPC reporting. So I didn't change the daily bid. But then yesterday, the uh, the amount I spent was only £3. So I know I need to up the actual keyword bid. So I've upped that this morning and we see how things go over the weekend. But in terms of how this has converted to sales, you can see here the blue line is orders. On the first day, we made three orders. Day two, four day three, four, and then yesterday was zero via PPC. Sorry, not yesterday. Day before yesterday was zero via PPC, and then yesterday was zero as well via PPC. But if we go to Helium 10, you can actually see I sold 15 units over that period. So only 11 of those come from PPC. That means we made four organic sales. So to be making organic sales within the first few days of launching a product is a very, very promising sign. Now, some of the eagle-eyed may have caught my ACOS up here at just under 240% and they're thinking, wow, that is a crazy high ACOS. And it is, and I don't care about ACOS at this stage of a product launch. My goal is to generate sales and to acquire data, especially with an auto campaign. You need to optimize this campaign and you can't do that until you start spending on PPC. And that brings me back to the thumbnail of this video there has been a complete waste of money. Using an auto campaign, I have spent 130 pounds so far. If I bring you over to Excel, this is the keyword data I've got. So when you do an auto campaign, you will target, Amazon will target both keywords and other products. So what I've done is I've replaced the actual ASINs with ASINs so you can see what I mean and all of the actual individual keywords. I've just put keywords. So these are the keywords that Amazon's targeted and these are the other products Amazon has targeted with my product. The problem is with an auto campaign, because it spreads your budget so far across so many different products and so many different keywords, you end up having literally no data to work with for a good few weeks. You can see here, most of these uh, keywords and ASINs have only spent about a pound or two. So you can't possibly make optimizations on this. You need to be spending 20 to 30 pound per keyword before you have enough data to make a realistic decision about whether or not that is a good keyword or not. So it's gonna take me weeks and weeks spending 50 pound a day to accumulate enough data to make these revisions and make these optimizations. So that is why this has been a complete waste of money in my mind. If it was just down to me and I wasn't doing this as an experiment for the channel and also for the course, I would just stop this now and set up my exact match keywords and put those into a campaign instead. And the reason I recommend this to people is look, when you launch a product, you've gone onto Amazon, you've created your product. Let me just pick a random product here. You've done all of your keyword research, however you do it. I do it obviously with Cerebro and Helium 10. You've done your title, you've done your bullet points, you've done a description. 
or well, some people will have done a description. There we go, there's a description there. You've done your backend keywords. So you've got all of the keyword data you need. Why would you launch with an auto campaign? Take a bit more time to understand PPC and set up the campaigns as it's gonna work a lot better for you. It's gonna save you a lot more money. There's no point spending 50 pound a day on an auto campaign when in probably an hour or two on something like Helium 10, you can do the keyword research you'll need to create your listing and also to set up those campaigns. And they'll easily pay for itself, probably within the first 24 hours of launching your PPC campaigns on Amazon. So I know the thumbnail seems clickbaity, but it's not. Launching with an auto campaign is a complete waste of money. You want to launch with more. Well, I prefer exact match campaigns. I normally launch with an exact match campaign with around 10 of the highest volume, most relevant keywords, and then I go from there because that will generally, well, I say generally, nine times out of 10, that is going to give you better results than trying to launch with an auto campaign, which is going to cost you a fortune in data discoveries. You're going to have to run it for weeks and weeks to get good data. Whereas you've only got, say, maybe 10 keywords and you're spending 30 to 50 pound a day, within a few days, you're going to very clearly know which of those keywords are or are not working. And if you find you haven't got many keywords that are working, you might want to add some in whilst removing some of those, but not taking this scattergun approach that you get with an auto campaign. But I know they've gone off on a bit of a rant there. Overall, this product launch has actually gone very well. To actually get some organic sales in the first few days is a very promising sign, especially the fact that I have no reviews at the moment. And just to touch on reviews quickly, my strategy with reviews is to get what I like to call clean sales to start with. So I've already got maybe five to 10 sales just from PPC. And at that point, I might reach out to one or two contacts and ask them to buy my product and leave a review. As then it looks a bit more natural to Amazon. If the first couple of people that buy your products are leaving reviews, it's not gonna look good and it's gonna be easy for the bots to detect. And obviously the whole purpose of PPC is to increase your organic ranks because that's where you're gonna make your organic, your profitable sales from. So make sure you're tracking your keywords. So as soon as you launch your hopefully exact match campaigns, which we've covered in other videos, you also want to make sure you're tracking those keywords to see how the organic ranks perform. So I've got all of the keywords here that I would have been tracking if I was launching an exact match campaign, but I'm still tracking them anyway because I want to see how they respond to the auto campaign. And you can see most of these are heading in the right direction. These graphs are heading up, which have only been in this a few days is a very promising sign. And some of these here are up to like top 20, top 30 already, which is really, really good. So let me just open this one up so you guys can see it. And you can see here that the lowest position when we launched was 290th for this particular keyword. And we've been going up all week from 290 all the way up. Our top position now is 33rd. And hopefully, if we get some good sales over the weekend, that will continue to improve. And then hopefully at some point, the organic sales will start to overtake the PPC sales. And that is when you can really start to make some money. So that's why I don't care about ACOS at this stage. It's all about loss leading to establish those organic ranks so you can make profitable sales long term. So if you want to do your own keyword research, I'm going to pop up a link to a video at the end of this video. So wait around for that because I'm going to show you the best video to watch to show you how to do your own keyword research. Um, but what I'd recommend is if you're not using Helium 10, you can sign up using either FBA Elite 50. Remember, this is only valid for a little bit longer as this is going to be pulled soon. That's going to give you 50% off your first month. And that one month will be enough for you to do all of your keyword research. Or if you want to use it long term, use FBA Elite 10. That will give you 10% off every single month. Or use either code and that will give you 25% off for the entire year. But what I'm going to do now is pop up a link to this video, which is this one here, Keyword Research Step-by-Step -step Tutorial. It's actually had a really low view count, but it's one of the most valuable videos on the channel. So there's going to be a big thumbnail pop up in front of you now. And I recommend you guys give that a watch and that will help you do your keyword research and launch your exact match PPC campaigns, which will help you have a much more efficient launch than I've just had with an auto campaign.